What's going on? I'm Sam. I was going to try and get a drop trailer to move some stuff into my new shop today, but I forgot my truck battery's dead, so I got to go take care of that. Finally found out my microphone was loose, so I fixed that. My audio should be good now. So I'm either going to move stuff around the shop today or work on my new desk. I haven't really decided which, but it's getting late. I spent all day editing my video and replying to comments. I spent a lot of time editing and uploading today's video and just replying to comments. I love seeing your guys' comments on the videos. It's really awesome to see how many people are following along and enjoying what I'm doing. So you ready, buddy? We got some work to do. Griffin, you ready? Let's go to work. Truck is started. I got a handful of tools to change the battery and the jumper cables with me this time. So I'm gonna go get that new battery. I'm pretty sure the alternator's fine because the voltage is high enough. I'm still gonna get it tested, but first I gotta get this battery. I do really like this truck and I got it for cheap enough that I'll probably end up getting that transmission rebuilt either by a buddy, a business, possibly myself, but I hate messing with engines and transmissions at this point in my life. So I'm probably gonna have someone else do it. But even after paying someone to rebuild the transmission, I think I got it cheap enough that I could still make a profit if I decided to sell it. But I do want to keep this truck for myself because I do really like it. So Griffin absolutely loves Roll King, so he's going to go with me to help pick out this battery for the truck. Okay, come on. Hey, does this look like a 10 or 11 to you? Yeah, you're right, it's probably a 10. Perfect. So I got the alternator checked at O'Reilly's. Everything looks good on that. So now I got a new battery, good alternator. My truck should start every single time now. I also cleaned out the aquarium here. I got out all the duckweed. There had been a thick layer of duckweed for a while. So the plants that I replanted a couple weeks ago weren't growing as good as they should have been. The duckweed was taking up some of the nutrients and blocking the light. So these plants should start growing a whole lot better. I'll probably end up feeding the duckweed to my tilapia. And I also got a few plants from here to put into the tank at my shop, but I didn't really take too many. I just took everything that had got unplanted and was just floating around. I'm probably gonna let these plants grow out a little bit more before I start stealing some for the shop tank. So with that, we will go to Lowe's. I think I'm gonna pick out the materials for the new desk I'm building, and then we'll head to the shop, my shop. So I went to Lowe's and picked out a whole bunch of straight pieces of wood, but after I got my cart full and I went to pick out stain, it started raining. I could hear it through the roof, and I was pretty worried because I didn't want my brand new wood to get wet and warped. So I went up and asked if I could leave the cart full of wood overnight and pick it up in the morning. They told me I could if I paid for it. But then I couldn't find my cart and it turns out one of the guys thought it was an abandoned cart and started restocking everything so all my straight pieces of wood were gone. But that was really okay because like I said it was raining. So I'll just go pick out the wood again 
tomorrow. I did get this discounted gallon of stain while I was at Lowe's. I tested it to see if I'd like this color for my desktop. And I really do not. So I'm still looking for the color I want. And I need to get this desk built. ASAP. After this I went to my buddy's house with my Tundra and we hooked it up to his snap-on scanner. I really wanted to know what was going on with the truck. I don't really know enough about transmissions to troubleshoot it on my own. So he looked at it and he's thinking that it's not slipping at all. It's actually just a misfire at a high RPM. He thinks that it seemed like it was slipping before because the torque converter was being disengaged because the engine sensed a misfire. So we drove it for a bit. He tried to figure out what was wrong with it. We stopped and one of the cats was red hot, which it's not supposed to do. This but it comes down to a clawed cat causing a misfire because of the back pressure, which seems like it could be true. We were seeing a lot of misfires on cylinder one and two. So now I just disconnected one of the O2 sensors before the cat on the side that was getting red hot and I'm gonna test drive it and see if it's bogging down anymore. And now that there's a place for the pressure to get out before the cat, it might start running better and not seem like it's slipping at all. In that case, I'm gonna to have to replace the cat, but that's a lot better than having the transmission rebuilt. I stayed and chilled with him for a bit. We talked about plans. So now it's pretty late by the time I got here. And of course, I'm gonna get nothing done again. But I was able to get this water cooler from Peter's shop. It had been leaking. I tore it apart, looked at all the seals, put it back together. Now it seems like it's not leaking. Before, there already would have been a giant pool of water around this thing just from leaving it for this long. So I'm gonna double check, leave it overnight, make sure the water doesn't go down. Then I'll sanitize it and clean everything out with some vinegar or bleach. And then it's ready for use again. So I gotta get back home. I'll be test driving this Tundra and seeing if there's still a problem or see if it's solved just by taking out that O2 sensor. And if that's the case, I'll just find a replacement cat and put that in. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it even if I didn't get much done today. And I will see you in the next one. Okay, let's go.